Seth Powers from Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Ball is life. Simple. And I know you want to say LeBron or Jordan or Calvin Chambers, but I ain't never seen this man Seth Powers without a basketball. Not once. That's getting your head in the game. Troy Bolton, you're a fraud. Any nigga in anime that loves to fight lives for this shit. Because they will go to egregious lengths just to fight. For example, Kenpachi loves fighting so much, he lets you get free licks in to make it more fun. Huh? Shit, the whole Bleach roster gotta be up there. Because anytime anyone has the upper hand in the fight, that's when they want to go ahead and give a TED talk about how their ability works and its weaknesses. Then somehow be surprised when they get folded. Them niggas love to fight so much, they prolong the fights just by being fair. Dumb as shit. Speaking of dumb, Goku loves fighting so much, not only does he neglect his family consistently to go train, but he also allows evil to live so it can get stronger, so he has a better fight. The man indirectly saved and put the entire multiverse at risk all for the sake of smoke. And we going back to my boy Ty smoking his lunch because the way he folded the entire roster of this movie it made my stomach hurt. And I know Rhino's still recovering from the population we loss. Ty finna rip out your lung cause when he broke out of prison. Seto Kaiba must live for us because he's gotta be the sorriest rival out there. I've never seen someone talk so much shit just to lose so bad. That's not named Vegeta. Like, it's crazy. The man starts to show off by hospitalizing Yugi's grandpa all for one card. And look at the sweet prize I won. Uh, grandpa's most treasured card! Yes, the Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card. And this one will never be used against me. Then Yugi comes and gets that lick back. And it's so crazy, they had to nerf him. This wouldn't even be the last time Yami would pin slap Kaiba. Man had a whole 3-1 lead with his ultimate blue eyes white dragon at Duelist Kingdom when the OG decided to pull some shit I'm pretty sure is illegal because the show never followed the rules. So Yami violates Kaiba and was one move away from completely emptying his pockets when Kaiba decided to do this. If you attack Yugi, I will jump off this cliff. That Celtic Guardian, fuck this nigga. Wait, I said I was going to jump. Do you really need to win that bad, Yugi? Yes, so that you never forget where you belong. And where is that? Beneath me. <laughs> Too bad Yugi's childish ass had to interrupt, and it gave Kaiba the motivation he needed to continue this for the rest of the series. We get back to Battle City and you find out this nigga Kaiba has been Yami's op for thousands of years. And then you gotta ask, if Kaiba been losing for millennia and keeps trying, do we gotta respect that? Or do we disrespect it? The man built a machine to go to the afterlife. Also, he can run Yami's fade. Stop it. Get some help. That was totally wicked. If it was, then you better subscribe, subscribe motherfucker. And speaking of powers, Austin Powers lives for smashing hoes. It's literally in his DNA, and I'm not making that up. Dr. Evil took a sip of that Riz juice, and five minutes later had his assistant bent over, committing all types of Me Too violations. And he don't be dealing with no Babas or Kiki. Call him Ash, because when it comes to baddies, he's catching them all. And speaking of Ash, You don't have a dad or a bank account! Ash lives for winning anything but a championship. Might as well call my boy Charles Barkley. Choji lives for eating. He loves eating. Man wants to be the food kage. You never seen Choji without food. And if he ain't got food, he crying. For one reason or another. Shit, I heard the Leaf Village went into a short famine after Osama died. And the last one I gotta cover is this rat-faced little bastard Randall. 
major key in life, don't trust any nigga named Randall. Being an L man's is in their DNA, unless you're subscribed to this channel. Where do we begin? This motherfucker runs around and spends his own free time trying to hoe niggas. Is literally in the opening song. Bruh. Then we gotta talk about how this man is like nine years old, but he dressed like a librarian. And he got a hunchback. Bitch, go see a chiropractor. And let's look at some of his greatest hits. Black Mailed Fat Mike. Some people call him Mikey into doing whatever he wants because he caught fat mike sneaking food in the bathroom took the digger kid shovels on cinco de mayo took over the school with glasses laughed at tj being put in the box which might as well have been the child version of getting tortured but the worst thing this man randall did was go into the permanent files without permission secretly find out spinelli's full name and then blackmail her into doing what he says. And then told this whole school her name anyways. Knowing damn well she'd have to join the bum, bougie ass Ashley's. I hear the Shadow Realm is lovely this time of year. Let's find out if it's true. I know you at home thinking there is no way his parents can be condoning all of this. Hey yo, what the fuck? It's like they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the... Nah. If you a bitch, don't be surprised if your son becomes one too.